Lieutenant President of Team Operations for the Dallas Mavericks. We have the 13th pick in the draft and considering losing it on you. I'd like to ask you a couple questions real quick if you don't mind. Here in Dallas, we have an owner whose goal for this franchise every year is to bring home a title. He's willing to spend a lot of money to make that happen, as he has proven in the past. We bring players in, and if they don't perform, we bring in new players who will. There's a lot of pressure to perform here. Do you think you can handle that kind of pressure? I don't like pressure, but I can take it like I've done my entire life. On the other hand, there's some pretty big name guys down there in Dallas, like Dirk, that take the focus off the other players. This is a class organization, and one I definitely want to be a part of, regardless of what may come with that responsibility. Alright then, one more. What do you think you'll bring to a franchise as far as marketability? I think that's really for you guys to decide. What I bring to your franchise is my basketball skills and a winning attitude. Anything beyond that, that's really for your team to sort out. I like to stay focused solely on the game. Some interesting answers. Thanks again for your time. Well played out there tonight. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the GM of the Philadelphia 76ers. We're looking for someone with the 11th pick who can help our franchise take the next step. I think you might be that guy. I'd just like to ask you a couple questions to make sure. Here we go. It takes a strong will to play here in Philadelphia. If you give your heart and soul to the team, the fans will support you completely with their adoration. On the other hand, if you have a bad mouth and will not give 100% out of the court, they will turn on you in a heartbeat and boo you relentlessly. They truly are the best fans in basketball and expect nothing less than your best. Do you think you have the makeup to play in this city? isn't the place for me, man. I don't want to feel like I'm constantly being judged by every on-court and off-court action that I make. I'm a private person, and that life is just not for me, you know? Next question. Talk about what you have to improve on as you make the jump to the next level. We'd like to see what you think about your game as a whole. Offensive game is still developing. I like to call it a work in progress, you know? I need to continue taking smart shots, basically take what's given to me. I think I'm coming into this league severely underrated, and I plan on using that to my advantage. Well, I can see that we are not a match, unfortunately. Good luck to you on draft night. scout for the Boston Celtics. We have a 16th pick in this draft and we're looking at potentially using this pick on you. First though, we'd like to get to know you better by asking you a couple questions. Let's get to it. We had a lot of turnover here in Boston, but are still looking to be a team that can win the title. There is a tremendous amount of pressure to win here for any player, much less a rookie. Do you feel you're prepared to step in and fill the shoes of some of the great players that have left our team in the past months? That said, I just don't think I need the added pressure of playing in bean time my rookie year, you feel me? I don't think Boston would be a good place for me. Okay, last question. Point guard is really the one position this team is solid in long term. We believe in Rondo, and we're not looking to draft a player to challenge him for the starting role. If we were to draft you, we wouldn't want you to feel like we're grooming you to be a career backup. 
We love your talent. One thought is to try and convert you to a shooting guard, such as that you could play alongside Rajon. What do you think about that idea? I don't really have any interest being a shooting guard or sitting behind Rajon for the next 10 years. I'm a point guard, and I'm a starting caliber player. I'd love to be a Celtic, but I just don't see this working out. I appreciate your honesty answering my questions. Best of luck to you in the draft. Good evening and welcome to the 2013 NBA Draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players, tonight marks the culmination of years of hard work as their dream of playing in the NBA moves closer to reality. To all of the fans watching around the world and to those here with us tonight, thank you for joining us. And now, to the task at hand. With the first pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Anthony Bennett Whoa! of Toronto, Canada, and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. Whoa! With the second pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Victor Oladipo of Indiana University. With the third pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Otto Porter from Georgetown University. With the fourth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Cody Zeller from Indiana University. With the fifth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select Alex Len from the University of Maryland. With the sixth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Pelicans, yes, the New Orleans Pelicans, select New Orleans Noel from the University of Kentucky. With the seventh pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select Ben McLemore from the University of Kansas. With the eighth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Detroit Pistons select Kentavious Caldwell Pope from the University of Georgia. With the ninth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Minnesota Timberwolves select Trey Burke from the University of Michigan. With the tenth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Portland Trailblazers select C.J. McCollum from Lehigh University. With the eleventh pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Michael Carter-Williams from Syracuse University. With the 12th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Stephen Adams from Rotorua, New Zealand and the University of Pittsburgh. With the 13th pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Dallas Mavericks select the 19-year-old point guard from the University of Kentucky.